Welcome everybody to Bathtub Science at Home. I'm really sorry that I'm not able to dance on cornstarch for you this year in person, but I'm not gonna let a global pandemic stand in the way of you making a mess. And you can do it right at home. All you need is a bowl, a couple of pounds of cornstarch, and some water. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to do this. We're gonna show you some of the properties and then go ahead and make a mess. The regular recipe that I normally tell people is about a pound of cornstarch to about a cup of water. But the smart thing to do is start with as much cornstarch as you want, put it in your bowl, and we're gonna go for two here because I'm crazy, whatever. And, uh, there we go, okay. And then slowly, and this is the hard part, I have two cups of water, we'll see if my recipe is correct. Start to add the water slowly to the cornstarch and start mixing. And it's gonna take a little bit of time because it's nasty. All right, and I would suggest wearing uh, not your best clothes for this because as you can see, this makes a huge mess. And so this is too crumbly right now. But if you add the water to the cornstarch instead of cornstarch to the water, you'll make sure that it doesn't get soupy. All right, so here we go. And you just keep mixing and mixing and try and get rid of the dry stuff. Ugh. And you can see just how much fun you're gonna have. Uh, this is why we do this outside usually, not inside. And okay, I was wrong. It's gonna take more than ugh. A cup of per thing. I'm gonna take some water here. Whoops. We're off camera. And see it's starting to do its thing. Just getting it in here. And up here's where it gets hard. And to really mix, you gotta get your fingers down in this thing, break it up, turn it over, keep mixing. Say people, this is why I went to graduate school. All right, bacon's already doing it, starting to do its thing. But that's still too stiff, so add a little bit of water. And you mix, and you mix. And you'll notice when you're doing this, it actually gets warm because this is a slightly exothermic reaction. I'm not quite sure why, but it doesn't give, it definitely gives off just a little bit of heat. All right. And at this point, this is getting close. There's a fairly wide range. It depends on how, I like it a little bit more liquidy than this. I sound like a chef. Um, let's add a little bit more water. But you can see it's pretty much in the right spot here. So let's make this here. How you wanted to spend your day, I'm sure. Oh, this is great. This is like therapy, really. Who needs a spa? All right, here we go. Almost there. This is a little liquidy. If you have a little extra cornstarch on the side and it gets too soupy, just add a little bit more cornstarch, get it to where you want it. But this is pretty good. Right, so. I'm not gonna do the whole explanation. That's in the other video. It's an old video from a few years ago where we got to dance, but there we go. And this is cornstarch and water. And it's a really amazing material. It's a liquid, it's a solid. It's actually a colloidal suspension. But anyway, so just, that's it. That. So go have fun. You can add a little bit of color to this. Be careful, it will stain. But before we go, just to demonstrate a few more things. It really is quite, 
remarkable. But <laughs> all right, and since no cornstarch demonstration would be the same without a dance, and unfortunately, I'm a little too this is a little too small to dance in. I brought my favorite generic action figure. No trademark violation here at all. We'll, we'll dance for you. And... This is wrong. This is very wrong. <laughs> and as I always say, it's a remarkable metaphor for life. Which is, as long as you keep moving, you stay on top of things. Whatever you do, don't stop. I'll be here all day. See you next year. Everything's great. As long as you keep moving, you stay on top of things. But you don't want to do is stop. This is about uh, rheology. It's about understanding how materials behave. And this, this material has a really complicated oh. rheology. Thanks. For rocks to both break and flow gives rise to most of the interesting stuff we see on the planet. Earthquakes and plate tectonics. And as I said before, clean hands are not learning hands. If you have not touched this stuff, you have no idea what I just told you. Why do I do this? <laughs> because it's fun on top of it. All this stuff, it's important to understand how the earth works. It's also important to have fun and science is fun. And this, I don't know much, much more fun with science than this, frankly. <laughs>